Police are searching for the thief who stole a car left warming up in Belleville this morning. The driver crossed the river and drove dangerously around school buses and through neighborhoods before crashing in an alley. Police arrested a man who was seen driving away in a white van a few blocks away. But it turns out he was just a grandfather on his way to work. He's now been released and police are apologizing. But he tells our Russell Kinsall his two hours in jail could have been avoided if police would have only asked a few basic questions. So what about when you guys are wrong? What about when you're wrong? That's Terrell Beasley being put in a police car. Powerhouse SkyZoom 4 watched the arrest. It's just like I say, it's mind blowing. For nearly an hour during morning rush hour, a car thief raced through the streets trying to avoid police. Beasley's boss called to warn him. So I told him, I said, stay in the house because now he just jumped on the alley right behind your house. For safety reasons, police had stopped chasing but continued to watch the view from Powerhouse SkyZoom 4. The stolen car hit a dumpster, crashed into a tree, and the thief jumped out and ran. But the view was obscured. Powerhouse SkyZoom 4 searched for anyone nearby on foot and eventually saw Beasley in his backyard and then getting in his white van and driving away. Police say they arrested Beasley based on the helicopter video. And I get down to the police station. After speak to a superior, the superior tells me they have overwhelming evidence going against me. Beasley still had on his jail identification bracelet after spending two hours locked up. He said he tried to explain to police why they had the wrong man. Are you going to use any of your police logic to put this story together that this man just came out his home? Beasley says he was in his own backyard because he heard the stolen car and police could have verified that he lived there. On the video, he's clearly in no hurry to get in his van and leave. And after trying to elude police for so long, if he was the thief, why would he have pulled over and stopped when police pulled up behind him? They treated me like I was a known criminal when the only thing I'm known for is going to work every morning. Beasley says the ordeal left him with a bad opinion about police officers. Russell Kinsall, News 4.